One feature that I have really wanted to see appear in a Pokemon game for a while now is branched evolutions for starter Pokemon. These are obviously really neat for the regular Pokemon that have them, and I think would be infinitely cooler for starters, especially because it would enforce the concept of choice that starters are known for, because not only would you have to choose which starter you want, but you'd have to choose which of its final evolutions to evolve it into. So we're going to take a look at this idea in this video and see what it would be like if starter Pokemon had branched evolutions. Fall is officially in the air, and so is Fulkachi. My new mascot, Fulkachi, from my Histrobi Chronicles game is now a plush that you can grab for yourself right now at histrobishop.com. Lots of people have picked him up already, and you won't want to miss out because he is cute, squishy, and super, super soft. He's perfect for cuddling up with on a chilly fall day or putting up on display in your game room. And every purchase supports the channel immensely, is immensely appreciated, and directly helps videos like this one to happen. So pick one up today while they're still available at histrobishop.com, that link will be in the description below, and make your fall season infinitely cuter and cozier. Okay, so the artwork of the designs in this video were drawn by my good friend Oscar Belmonte, and if you haven't yet, you can check him out with the links in the description because he does great work. With that said, I have selected three starters to showcase in this video, and they are in no particular order, they're just the ones I felt like doing. This could potentially become a series though, and we could do more videos on this if this one does well, so be sure to leave a like and a comment down below if you want to see more. The first starter we're going to tackle today though is the Fennekin line. Obviously, Delphox is pretty divisive, and I would say generally unpopular even though it has its fans. So for those who aren't the biggest fan of it, why don't we go ahead and give it a branched evolution counterpart that Fennekin could also evolve into if you're in that anti-Delphox club. The branched evo that I've come up with here is Bezenard, and while it probably looks pretty simple on the surface, there is way more going into this design than you might realize, that I think makes it pretty cool. First off, it is a Fire Dark type compared to Delphox's Fire Psychic, and one of the bigger critiques of Delphox is that it's bipedal, so I knew right away that I wanted this branched evo to be on all fours to contrast that. Second, the other big thing about Delphox is that it's obviously a witch, and when thinking about how to best contrast a witch, a fun idea came to mind. A broom. Witches and brooms obviously go hand in hand, so having one evolution be based on a witch and another the broom, with you having to choose between the witch or the broom, I thought was a fun dynamic. This also went along with Bezenard being on all fours, since brooms are known for being ridden by witches, and this would allow Bezenard to be a more writable Pokemon. That is why it was drawn in this particular pose in order to reflect this, while its body itself is meant to vaguely resemble a broom as well, with its new brown coloration and big bushy tail that resembles the end of a broom in particular. Also, as an added bonus, this brown coloration also gave Bezenard a very fall type of vibe, which goes perfectly with the witch theme. That dark typing I mentioned before also comes from witches generally being seen as evil or bad, while Delphox's psychic type naturally highlights the magic side of them. Then there's the name. Bezenard might not be very recognizable to you in terms of its etymology, but that's kind of the point, and it works pretty great in my opinion. I really like the kind of Pokemon names that sound cool and unique and you can't really tell where they come from, but when you find out, you learn that it perfectly ties into the Pokemon itself. 
That is what bezinard does, as it comes from the words besom, which is a broom, and more specifically, is a more classic traditional word that refers to your classic, original, old-school type of broom that witches are commonly seen with. And then it also comes from the word renard, which is the French word for fox. This is obviously because it's a fox, and because it would be a Kalos Pokemon, and Kalos is based on France. For good measure, I even used the feminine spelling of this word with the E at the end, since the Fennekin family are more feminine in nature. And that is Bezenard for you. I think this is a great example of how neat branched evolutions for starters could be, but it's not the only one that we're looking at today, so let's go ahead and move on and take a look at Oshawott. For whatever reason, when it comes to Oshawott's final evolution, Samurott, there are a good amount of people who don't like it, for literally the exact opposite reason that they don't like Delphox because it's on all fours, and they wanted it to be bipedal like Dewat. That doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to me, but that's the general sentiment that I've observed. So let's go ahead and once again try to appeal to those who might not like Samurott by giving Oshawott a second bipedal evolution that these people could go with instead. I give you Vagranaut, a sort of opposite side of the coin to Samurott. So obviously there's the bipedal thing that contrasts it from Samurott, but the other thing about Samurott, and kind of this whole line, is that it's a samurai. I mean, it's literally right in its name. So in trying to stay true to this while also making something that could provide a different route for this Pokemon to go at the same time, I decided to base Vagranaut on a Ronin. A Ronin is a type of samurai who is basically a loner or a wanderer, or a vagrant, if you will, which is where the name comes from, along with otter like the rest of these Pokemon. The term Ronin can also be translated as a person of the waves, which ties it in perfectly with this Pokemon as a water type. However, it's not only water type because it's actually water ghost. This kind of makes it a lot cooler type-wise in my opinion than Samurott, but if you are going to do a branched evolution, you can't exactly have both evolutions be the exact same type, and since Samurott is a pure water type, Vagranaut got to win out here with the cool dual type combination. This ghost typing also comes from the fact that a samurai will often become a ronin because of the death of their master, and their nature of wandering aimlessly without a true place of belonging is very reminiscent of wayward ghosts and spirits who still wander the earth after death, making the typing very fitting in my opinion. So, for the people that aren't Samurott fans, is Vagranaut something you would be happy to choose instead? Is it a good contrast to Samurott? Let me know down below as we now move on to our next starter, Fuecoco. So Fuecoco, in my opinion, is one of the greatest starters of all time. He is utterly fantastic. With that said though, his final evolution Skeledurge is kinda just okay in my opinion. It's not bad by any means, but it's not amazing either like Fuecoco is. And one of the things that I think kinda disappoints me about Skeledurge is that it's nothing like Fuecoco. It doesn't have any Fuecoco-ness to its design whatsoever, which is a bit sad to me for how good Fuecoco is itself. So I wanted to make a branched evolution for Fuecoco that basically was a little more Fuecoco-like, so that when you choose Fuecoco at the beginning of your adventure, you could also end up with something that still had that Fuecoco charm that you chose Fuecoco for. And that is what led to the creation of Cocomare. This one is actually a huge contrast to its official counterpart, as Skeledurge is obviously a scary, spooky, fire ghost type, but Cocomare is a lot more light-hearted, and is more or less the exact opposite typing of Fire Fairy. 
This guy came from, number one, as I said, a desire to have a more Fuecoco-like final evolution. But number two, when I was looking at Fuecoco and its middle evolution Crocolore, I noticed something with their names. Their names are very Spanish-inspired, partly coming from the Spanish word for crocodile, cocodrilo in Fuecoco's case, and calor, the Spanish word for heat in Crocolore's case. That obviously reflects what they are as Pokemon, but if you look at their names with an English lens, you can see a theme that is a little bit different. Coco in English is obviously reminiscent of chocolate, and Calor is also reminiscent of the word calorie, being that it's just two letters off. Now, this isn't where the names of these Pokemon actually come from, obviously, but I thought it was interesting that there was kind of an unofficial food theme going on with the names of these first two stages, and so I thought it would be fun to use this as a theme for Cocomare, so it was as if Fuecoco and Crocolore already had some connection to this evolution that was being sort of foreshadowed as a double meaning with their name. So, these were the main inspirations for Cocomare, and the food theme went great with the more Fuecoco-like approach that I already wanted, so it worked out perfectly. And these themes are also what resulted in that Fire Fairy type combo. Design-wise, these themes are of course present too, as it obviously looks a lot more like Fuecoco, but that food theme also shines through too. First, it's got its black hands, which it retains from Crocolore, and those are supposed to loosely be inspired by oven mitts. Second, and the real kicker here, is its head flame. All stages of this Pokemon have some kind of flame on their head, so Cocomare had to have one too. But what it would be was tricky to figure out, since Crocolore, the stage before Cocomare, has a nest with an egg in it on its head, which is because of the little flame bird that accompanies Skeleturge later on once it evolves. So making this egg into something else without also just outright ignoring it was definitely a little more difficult to figure out, but I ultimately decided to make the flame resemble a cake, as that not only goes with the food theme, but eggs are also a key ingredient in cakes, and call that a stretch if you want, but I think that works sufficiently well, and having the egg turn into different things depending on which evolution you go with, I think is another thing that helps to emphasize the branch part of this branched evolution. Finally, the name Cocomare works really good too, as it comes from Cocodrilo, meaning crocodile, just like Fuecoco, and Comer, which is the Spanish word or verb, if you will, for eat or to eat, which obviously represents the food theme. And that is what it could look like if starter Pokemon had branched evolutions. Let me know all your thoughts about this idea and these designs in the comments, and leave a like if you enjoyed. I would love to do branch devos for more starters as well as I said, so share the video around and leave those likes and comments like I said to help it do well so we can do a part 2. With that said, I'll see you guys soon with another video, thanks so much for watching this one, I really appreciate it, and until then, as always, I will smell you guys later.